You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living, peace, love, and light. Peace and love, peace and love. Welcome back to www.freeinthemind.com. You already know it. You already know. Hope all is love. Hope all is light. We are back again for another day. Another day alive in life. Another day above ground. Another day thankful. Another day appreciative. Another day honoring the beingness of being. Honoring the beingness of all things. Mm. Give thanks for this day. Could be anywhere in the world going through anything. This is where we are. This is what we're dealing with. You know, so much more in the unseen than we see above ground. Than we see manifesting in our real lives, actual lives, our realities. So much more happening in the internal space of the mind. The internal space of the beingness as well as the internal space of all around oneself, the unseen, the thoughts between each other, the feelings between the heart and the environment around, the experience, so much, so much happening. Yet so much more happening that goes unnoticed, that goes unseen. Mm. It's good to slow it down, take our time, pace ourselves in this life, pace ourselves in this life, for this is the only life we know at this moment. We consider the previous ahead and we think about what's to come, but the now moment is all that we truly know, truly know. Even our reflections in the past of things that we experienced firsthand is only from our perspective over the experience. And we can look outside of ourselves and size up that atmosphere and stuff, but it's still coming from our own mind from within our own self, our experience. So that in itself is still only a limited experience for the grand, the whole, all inclusive is even the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown, the here and the now is the past, the present and the future. Mm. So taking time to appreciate the beingness of being, the moment, the nows, understanding that we don't know all so we remain open to all, hoping for a clearer understanding, a better understanding, increase our relationships and strengthen them more with love, create divine unions in each interaction, even if that union is just for that moment and we never see these people again, make it a divine union, represent righteousness, represent holiness, represent godliness, represent love represent truth, represent creativity, positivity, productivity, steward of righteousness. And we strive for these things and we let truth be our guide and love be our light, lighting up our path and guiding us through our ways, helping us to ground ourselves through our anxieties, through our pressures, mm. just to cool and calm, taking time to breathe. Mm. Taking moments to reflect, being appreciative, thankful, acting from a place of thanksgiving, creating from places of thanksgiving. So then our acts may be and our creations may be fruitful and abundant and positive and beneficial and useful for others. A better vision than our own self. Mm. Think about these things. So I was sitting here, just reading, thinking about family, thinking about life and just the importance of just being thankful, man. Thankful for life, 
So much happening, so much going on, so many things happening all over the world, man. Mm, think about our brothers and sisters going through it over in Hong Kong. Mm, think about our brothers and sisters going through it over in India. Think about our brothers and sisters going through it right here. All over this world. In Africa. All over this world. All over this world. Going through it. Going through it. Even now. Individuals. Ourselves included with our warm homes and beautiful places. and mm, So much happening in the world. We must be thankful. Grateful. Grateful. And add on. Do what we can. Every moment, every day that we can. Putting our vibrations out here on this, yes, absolutely. But more importantly, in our individual, everyday lives, interactions, getting involved, adding something positive to this universe, getting on in, sewing your thread into the grand fabrics of life, adding on a more stable, stronger fabric, tight-knit unit. So much happening. At the same time, so much happening. So many distractions happening. Political talks and impeachment talks. And all this extra stuff happening. When so much talking and nobody's saying nothing. So much happening and nobody's, nothing's moving. Nothing's changing. Things are continuously disrupting and erupting. Because we're not grounded in ourselves. Our environments are not grounded. Our systems are not grounded. Things are not rooted in truth. Equality, honesty. And now all these things are coming to the surface, full-fledged to the surface for our eyes to see, but most importantly for our hearts and our spirits and our minds to see. We can see this and we interpret it how we may, but our spirits and our hearts and our heart of hearts knows. And the question remains, what will you do? What can I do? What must I do? These are the questions that hit the emotions. But what will you do? Will. Will power. Will. Through the will, things are created. Through the will and by the will, things are made, manifested. Will power. So whatever one sets one will power to do, one desire and alignment with one's will, and pursue that with action, persistence, perseverance, consistency. Over time, things take place, not necessarily overnight. The bamboo may take years, even a decade before it pops above ground. And once it pops above ground, then it just shoots straight on up. While other plants come above ground earlier and just take their time to get up there and solidify, and some even faster. Everyone doesn't wake up at the same time in the morning. Don't go to sleep at the same time at night. Mm. Don't smell the same thing in the same atmospheres. Don't think the same thoughts in their own minds. So we share ourselves, our greatest selves, our best of ourselves. That one may inspire. That one may be the essence and the element of change through their own action and their own deeds, holding true the righteous values, love, truth, honesty and equality, loyalty, patience and perseverance. Mm. So we must be patient, we must endure, and we must be thankful for this life. So I was reading this, reading this book lately. It's called The Book of Sufi Chivalry, Futua. Futua. And it has a lot of jewels, a whole lot of jewels, a whole lot of jewels. But one thing that really stuck out this morning was this says, be more preoccupied with your inner state 
than with your external state. Mm. Be me, be more preoccupied, be more preoccupied, be more preoccupied with your inner state than with your external state. Because the inner state is what the creator completely looks at. It's what the inner state is what the creator looks at. It's the inner state that the creator looks at. Whereas the outward appearance is what the people see. The outward appearance is what the people see. And it says, consistency on this path depends on the heart being in constant agreement with the creator. The heart being in constant agreement with the source. Great spirit. And the spirit in constant battle with the body. The spirit in constant battle with the body. Renounce the whims of your ego and your negative attitude. Do not let your ego's every wish lead you because it can only lead you into darkness. Whims are created from darkness. Abide with your intelligence because it will lead you to light. Abide with your intelligence because it will lead you to light. The whims will lead you into darkness, winging it, right? We see a lot of, we talk about this a lot of time, people are always winging it. The majority of this world is winging it. Make it look good, but winging it. Others in plan, carrying out their plan, activating plan, praying, praying on others that did not plan, therefore plan to fail. So that will help them along that path of failure. Because if you don't have a plan, someone else has a plan for you. A lot of many aimlessly things, like just like the wind. If you're not going somewhere, you're gonna blow in that wind, like that leaf. If it's not holding on strong to that branch, it's gonna go with that wind. If it's not tied to a strong source, it's gonna go. What strong source are you tied to? What is your tree? What is your branch? What is you rooted to? And we look at these things and if it's nothing, then we're gonna blow in these winds. The impulses of the mind, the impulses of the heart going on those whims, not doing the knowledge, just going before we know what we're getting into. Not sizing it up before we get involved, finding ourselves in situations. Or having to handle situations and clean up later, or make up later, or pay back later because the pre-plan was not in place or the root was not strong or the attachment wasn't there. However, that attachment, the consistency, the consistency, the consistency of the path, aligning the heart with the spirit and the spirit in battle with the body Overcoming the ego. Sometimes you overcoming the pride. Right or wrong, remove yourself from it. Look at it. If, you know what I'm saying? If you fall on this side of it, then that's where you fell. If you fell on this side of it, then that's where you landed. But right or wrong, take your ego out of it. Take your personal self out of it and look at it and place your actions right on in there and weigh it on out. Remember that one time we were talking about how they took the personality of a business, right? Like how corporations acted and put that as like if the corporation was a person, an individual person, and that person would have been considered insane. Corporations are insane. These corporate minded individuals become insane. You know, if they don't have grounded practices rooted in equality, rooted in love, truth, prosperity and abundance for the greater good of all concerned as opposed for the individual rooted self. Greed, myself, let me get this, let me have that. So the groundation must be in place. The groundation must be have rooted in a strong foundation of truth, equality, freedom, free mind, open mind. Mm -hmm. 
So cleansing one's being from revolt and beautifying it with obedience to truth. Don't be so rebellious when you hear something that doesn't necessarily align with you. Being able to observe, look, listen, observe and respect what's happening. This is happening in spite how you feel about it or how you may want to feel about it or how, what you may want to do about it. These things are happening now. What is your counteraction to make something positive of this thing? What is your counteraction to make something happen? That could be more beneficial, more fruitful or offer a opening out, a press relief, a pressure reliever. Mm. Pressure bus pipes, open it up, clear out some of that steam. So cats can move through and fluctuate again. But, you know, these things, that's why we must count our blessings and be thankful for our lives. Count our blessings and be thankful for our lives. But without further ado, we've been going long enough, you know. Um, let's just get right into some art, man. Let's just get right on into some art. I know that's like a quick jump, right? Like, okay, but it's um, it's just what it is, you know, because life is like this, man. Life is like this. It must be grounded. It must stay rooted. It must stay rooted in truth as well, man. So what I was looking at is like, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, we got this natural citrine sitting up, up top. Natural citrine. Just sitting up top, vibing on out. Maybe that's part of the reason why I'm over here rambling, running off, talking about willpower and everything. It's a solar plexus piece, you know what I mean? At the same time, we got this on too. Also, we got the natural citrine with your imperial topaz with your pie right at the bottom. So we're dealing with a lot of willpower right about now, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we got the ohm on here. Thanks and blessings to the beautiful mind store, Brother Mateo. Make sure you check him out on Instagram, Brother Mateo, man. On Instagram goes by the beautiful mind store. Check it out. Check it out, always laces me with jewels. This one I did a little wrapped up myself, as you can probably tell. A lot of my stuff be rough looking, man. But my brother, he got the science down to it, man. Got the beautiful artistry to it, too, as well, man. There's many others, too, out there. But this guy right here called, man. Mm. As you hear Basti going crazy background. Let's get right on into it. So what are we going to do today? Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with we're going to be working with some uh, Faber Castell Oil Pastel. We're going to be working with some Prismacolor Premier New Pastels. We're going to also be working with those Soft Pastels too, also of Reeves Soft Pastels. So we're going to be working with these, mixed medium. Yes, indeedy. We'll probably end up throwing in some, um, not even probably, we're definitely gonna be throwing in the black ink definitely throwing in the black ink and who knows we might even go so far as to bring out some of that uh good old acrylic ink good old acrylic paint now let's go ahead and uh pull this together too in the good old brush and like i said before good old friend told me about these brushes said dollar you want to get used to drawing and writing with these brushes just like you would a pen and that's what we're working on so anybody else out there that's doing some art man make sure you try to check out one of these these pens here i mean not pens but these brushes they look like pens you can get them at your art store little japanese pens you'll also see them looking like this too as well this is another one it's another one right here you just got these type of looks where it's just kind of like wood with the hair at the end, like horse hair or goat hair, all that type of good old stuff, you know. They're just animals helping us out in another way, adding on life, you know. So uh, let's just go right on in on this one. I think on these, it's going to make this colorful. It's going to be a piece about, man, just... Enjoyments of life. Let's get right on in there. Okay, so starting this one off, I think we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, I like having people in the middle of it. I like having people, you know, I like doing faces and stuff. So we'll start this one off with a person. And 
already. I think what we're gonna do is kick it off like this, actually. in your life. Let's just think about that. Think about the things that's taking place. Think about the first time you learned how to ride a bike. We taught you how to ride that bike. They could have been anywhere. They could have been doing anything. Riding your bike with. They were there with you. They've been anywhere. Think about your earliest birthday parties when you were a kid. Celebrate your birthdays. Think about your earliest birthday party. You might not even be able to remember who all was there. Maybe you do. Maybe it was all cousins. Maybe somebody was crying over the side of the cake they got. Maybe another person was tired of the same old sloppy joes every birthday. <laughs> those sloppy joes, man. Some of the best memories go with those sloppy joes, man. Some of the best memories. Memories that you wish you could just relive again. And the same memories you try to recreate oftentimes with your own children. holidays, these times of years, it's fun around family. When you were a kid, seeing cousins and everybody coming over, crying when you had to leave. Everybody else was staying the night. <laughs> you had to go home. You cry and see them standing at the door <laughs> while they all still running around in pajamas. <laughs> Think about those, man get older, like times like these become more and more valuable, more and more precious. Realize, like thinking about it the other day, like as you get older, things take on different meanings. Life, events in life, such as these holidays, these times. So you may not even celebrate the holiday itself. You might not even celebrate, you might not even be that religion or spiritual system or in that belief or, you know, whatever it is. It might not hold like it used to. However, nowadays, man, as you get older and we're getting older and we're experiencing life more, seeing these things like we were just talking about, like these systems that are out of place, maybe never have ever been in place, maybe even always have been an illusion possibly. And we see these things. And as we see them as we're older, it makes us lose, have less faith in other things, less belief in other things, such as less belief in the good out there in the world even. 
And there's always good out there in the world, even in the space that we unseen, that's unseen. And there's times they say, you know, have you ever heard anybody say about maybe a relative or something, no news is good news. No news is good news, you know. In that space of what appears to be not happening, that's a good thing because at least nothing negative is happening. Nothing destructive is happening. Nothing to that degree of hatred is happening which leaves more room for opportunities of positivity, of love, togetherness, opportunities and space for growth. For growth needs space. And space needs room to grow, expand. You know, we're gonna add that hair in there. We'll add that hair in, but see, before we add that hair in there, man, because I'm seeing something with this being thankful, right, going through, remembering very different people, situations in our lives, I have a peace of mind, now here, because we're going to come back in there to that ink, let's go in here for a second, because seeing like, y'all know how I like to kind of play with stuff a little bit, this yellowness in his face, man, light. You already know. that little pink too also for that lip because the lips you know what's the lips mm-hmm mm -hmm. so now come with that and you're looking at a couple other things along with that you want to see that too also because Play around, you know, probably gonna be pastels. Stop the pastels around. Because he's out in the day. <laughs> like hold it on to it. Sometimes it's just about that. Can you hold on to it? You're coming back in on top of everything. So it's just a matter of just kind of like this playing around, man. Ultimately, everything is an experimental game, man. It's like uh, art and expressing yourself. Like you're talking about like, yeah, winging it. It's different between winging it and experimenting. The experimenting has a scientific base to it. It's rooted in, experiment is rooted in a hypothesis, an idea. 
rooted in something else. So basically, based off of my previous understanding of what I understand previously, it's still rooted in an intelligent guess. And as you can fact, our hypothesis itself is an educated guess. So you're dealing with something that has some previous knowledge to something else and relating that something else to this situation, connecting dots, AKA, and also along with that, okay, what do you think might happen based off of what you know? Now, based off of what you know, and what you think might happen could be two different things. That's why the experiment, taking with caution, taking your steps, writing your steps down, mapping your way out, you know what I mean? Designing your plan before you go on out there and execute and see what worked, what didn't work. So you know what to try and what not to try again. So life has to be carried out this way, scientifically speaking. It has to be carried out scientifically. It must be carried out creatively and scientifically. Ideas and implementing your ideas along with your hypothesis and guesstimating, educated guesses based off of stuff and taking your chances on out there. Trying them out, seeing where they land, seeing how they fall, seeing does it work out, does it not? You never know. But either way it goes, you try it. Now this is the lips. I like having like rough stuff, y'all. Well, that roughness, you know what I mean? Even where stuff doesn't connect, right? Right, it's gonna be weird like that, right? And then with that, you come with this. See, a lot of it is colors, man. Color scheme. Your color scheme. who you are in the process of growing into that beingness. Now, because he's like devoted to trying to stay true to truth, right? So he wraps himself in that way. So he wraps himself in the traditional wrap. This monastery perhaps Lord to be honest he's a real one Listen. now in this environment got him back there. It's just, you know, that's, a, that's his woods, his forest area where he goes. happening the world is happening make 
taken away. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go, baby. <laughs> oh, cheers. Man. And you're always glad you came. It was just a ground. Mm -hmm. Brown is orange and green. And there's the beaches. The beaches. The beach. So now, it's just a matter of just kind of like just Yeah, man, it's just, you know, taking your time, man, moving through life, being thankful, being appreciative, thinking about the things that bring you peace, bring you hurt, bring you balance, bring you relaxation, bring you peace of mind. And those are things like that, like, you know, think about like family. Think about like family. Got your wife. Family, like, love you. You know what I'm saying? Man? Some loved ones looking down on you. Play around with that a little bit, but then you just come back on in with that ink. Come back in with that ink a little bit, put your dabble. Having that guidance, that overseer, that voice in your head that's like, yo, little man, young man, young woman, do that. You could take your place in this world and do what you're supposed to do. A lot of times.
just a matter of just kind of just brush a little bit and you just find out what you like It's uh, just getting relaxed, man. Let me come on back on top. Now, with that, you got that there for now. Come back in if anything later. But if you find it, you go like this. Mm-hmm. 
four. ultimately just chilling man <laughs> so this is like nature the ancestors the waters the eldership people let's go here here Dancing in the sun. And more notes. But we in the high notes. Of the celestial sphere. Notes. Dancing in the sun. Happiness, man. Rain. 
be in this way. Back where happiness reigns. Where happiness reigns. And this is in our memories, man. In our memories of the moment, in our being, the states, man. Now. Happiness reigns. Now is where happiness reigns. In the moment. And depending on what you think in the moment, what you see in the moment, how you conceive in the moment, like we were talking about the inside. Pay more attention to the internal than to the then the external. Pay more attention to the internal than you do to the external. The external may reflect what's going on inside. As opposed to the exact opposite. The external becoming our inner world. So, that's where we're at, y'all. That's where we're at. And um, this is the piece. What it is that being done you know once again i want to say thank you again for tuning in to freeing the minds wish you nothing but peace love and light bountiful abundance and prosperity goodness and good fortune and remember just to take the time go slow take the time to pay attention to the internal atmosphere the internal landscape the inside itself Harmonize that, cleanse that, purify that, become one with that. And then carry that into this external world, man. Being a light to the atmosphere, being an abundant to the atmosphere, positive to the atmosphere, useful to the atmosphere. Something that upgrades the atmosphere just by you being in it. That being said, thank you again for tuning in. I wish you nothing but love and light, and I'll be back again soon. Peace and love. Peace. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.